By now we've all heard power and money are shifting from the east to the west. So we thought we'd come here to Calgary, the city of the future, to see what Canada will look like in the years ahead. And as is pretty obvious from this view, there's a lot going on in this city. New office towers by famous international architects, bridges even by famous international architects. Every corner seems to have a new condo tower. The city is booming and money is flowing. But as the mayor, Nahed Nenshi, the mayor we wish we had, will tell you, maybe things aren't always as they seem. This is the biggest problem all cities face. Rob Ford, Gregor Robertson, Stephen Mandel, me, we all have exactly the same problem. Yep. As an example, taxpayers in the city of Calgary send nearly $4 billion a year more to the legislature in Edmonton than we get back in all provincial services. Remember, my operating budget is only $3 billion. We send $4 billion more to the, to the province. We send $10 billion more to the federal government than we get back in all services. And it's really important that those other orders of government recognize that the cities are the engine that's providing them the tax revenue. So we need a rebate to invest in the cities so they can continue to grow and provide the tax they revenue. They call them handouts. But they're not handouts. They're a small rebate on the taxes that city taxpayers pay. And they're investments because when you have a great city, then people invest in it and you actually grow the economy. And if we can't continue to provide cities that are attractive for people to live in, then we lose that economic engine. The mayor is right, of course. It costs money, a lot of money, to build a city, especially a city that people choose to live in, that people want to live in. This bridge, the Peace Bridge, cost $25 million, which made it very controversial at the time. A lot of people were not happy about it. On the other hand, it's designed by Santiago Calatrava, a famous Spanish engineer architect who's renowned around the world for designing and building structures exactly like this one here. And whether or not it was worth $25 million, we don't know. But one thing is for sure, people come from all over the world just to walk across it. You know, you asked me before if I was optimistic. You can't not be optimistic when you live in Calgary. We had a survey done this summer, Angus Reid did a survey, where they looked at people in the major cities in Canada and asked questions about their quality of life. You know, no surprise, Calgary came out number one on six out of seven, I think, of the measures. But the most interesting one for me was the question was asked, is your city on the rise? And it's an astonishing 90% of Calgarians said, this is a city on the rise. Well, I don't think anybody could disagree with the mayor on this one. Calgary is a city on the rise, but where is everybody? We're here on a Wednesday night in the heart of the city and the place is practically deserted. You can build it, but will they come? Not yet. For the star.com, I'm Christopher Hume.